Hey everyone, in this video we will be doing the 2022 Calc AB exam FRQ number 2. Let's get right into it. Question 2 says that let f and g be the functions defined by f of x equals ln x plus 3 and g of x equals x to the power of 4 plus 2x cubed. The graphs of f and g shown in the figure above intersect at x equals negative 2 and x equals b where b is greater than 0. We can use the given reference graph to make sure we plot the two functions correctly on our graphing calculator. In part A, we have to find the area of the region enclosed by the graphs of f and g. First, we need to find the intersection points. f of x equals to g of x at x is equal to negative 2, which is given in the problem, and also at x is equal to 0 0.781975, which is the b value that the problem wanted us to find. We plug these into the area formula to get an integral from negative 2 to b of the top function f of x minus the bottom function g of x. Make sure you don't mix those two up. We then calculate the value and it turns out to be 3.603. On to part b. For negative 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to b, let h of x be the vertical distance between the graphs of f and g. Is h increasing or decreasing at x equals to negative 0 0.5? Give a reason for your answer. So, h of x is the vertical distance between f and g. We just need to set h of x equal to f of x minus g of x. To find if it's increasing or decreasing at x equals negative 0 0.5, we find h prime of negative 0 0.5. We plug this into a calculator and find that the value is negative 0 0.6. Since this number is negative, h is decreasing. We can write this in a statement by saying something like h is decreasing at x equals negative 0 0.5 because h prime of negative 0 0.5 is less than 0. Part C tells us that the region enclosed by the graphs of f and g is the base of a solid. Cross sections of the solid taken perpendicular to the x axis are squares. Find the volume of the solid. To find the volume, we integrate the area of a cross section. For squares, area is side squared. The side we are looking for is the distance from the top function to the bottom function. From this, we get an integral from negative 2 to b of f of x minus g of x all squared and we plug it into our calculator. We can get our answer 5.340. Alright, part d. A vertical line in the xy plane travels from left to right along the base of a solid described in part c. The vertical line is moving at a constant rate of 7 units per second. Find the rate of change of the area of the cross section above the vertical line with respect to time when the vertical line is at position x equals negative 0.5. This looks pretty confusing, but let's try to simplify what it is asking for. We are trying to find the rate of change of the area of the cross section with respect to time at x equals negative 0.5. This is dA over dt at x equals negative 0.5. From part c, we know that the area of the cross section a of x is equal to f of x minus g of x all squared. However, when we derive a of x, we only get dA over dx. We're supposed to find dA over dt. This is where the vertical line comes into play. Think of the line as x equals to 1 or x equals to anything, since it is vertical. The line moving at a constant rate of 7 translates to dx over dt equals 7. Now, we can find dA over dt by multiplying dA over dx by dx over dt. 7 multiplied by dA over dx at x equals negative 0.5 is equal to negative 9.271. And that was FRQ number 2 in the 2022 Calc AB test. The first three parts were just based on making sure you remembered your formulas, but part D was definitely tricky for me. During the AP exam, I had no idea what to do and scribbled down a random answer. Comment down below if you were able to do this problem on your first try. Something like this may come up again next year, so make sure to review this concept if you struggled on it like I did. I'll be making more videos on the rest of the FRQs, so drop a like if this video helped.